So I just finished the show Higarashi, and I have to say, this anime has some of the best opening music I've ever heard. Something even better than that opening though, is how wholesome, loving, and upbeat this entire series is from start to finish. It reminds me a lot of Madoka Magic, but even more wholesome than that. Enough gushing, let me explain Higarashi a bit. The show follows a group of five friends, Keichi, Rena, Mion, Satoko, and Rika. All five of them go to the same small school, with every grade level in just one room. In addition, they are all part of a same club where they play a variety of games and the losers have to subject themselves to penalty games. This can be anything from wearing specific clothing, going to get something, all fun and cute in nature after all. The gang is just perfect. So lively and up for anything, honestly. Having each other's back, no matter what. I just love the wholesomeness here. Alright, alright. Enough talking about it. Let's, uh, let's just take a look at one of them. A picture says a thousand words after all, so I can just show you how goofy these kids can be. For this one, Sadako and Mio just lost, so they had to reenact the crucifixion of Jesus. <laughs> what the- <laughs> The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Sadako is playing the pivotal role of Jesus, while Mion is just a Roman soldier. Oh, look, there she is. Wait, Mion has a knife. Oh, I forgot it's Sadako's birthday today. They must be surprising her with a cake. So much wholesome positive energy from the show. Wow. The way Mion is cutting that cake, a lot of j- Is coming out? Wait, that's not jelly. I- don't know what that clip was. It, it must have been like a joke of some sort, a gag, a, a goof. It, it just must have been. There's just nothing not wholesome about this anime. Like, look at this. They're having an eating contest. It's a nice summer afternoon. The best time for a picnic with your wholesome friends after all. What would this show be though without its penalty games? This game is simple. The one who eats the least in a given amount of time has to go get a heavy watermelon from Keiichi's house. Can't you just feel the positive energy just flowing from this scene? Sadly though, Mion and Rena have tied for last place, so Keiichi goes with them to get that giant watermelon and the bat to smash it open with. Uh oh, grabbing the bat, Keiichi seems to accidentally have broken the light. Wait, he's starting to bash the watermelon open? Wait, it's getting juice everywhere. Yo, cut this! Look, I have I have no idea how that snuck in to the footage. Um, my editor Brian must have tampered with it. This show is not like that. Clearly, that was edited and placed there. Higarashi is synonymous with happiness after all. So scenes like that just don't exist normally. Just please give me one last chance. I just want to share this gem with the world. Okay, here's the last game they're going to play during this video. In this one, they have to grab a card based on its description. And my man, Keiichi, he's teaming up with these two kids to assure victory. Because the penalty is to do whatever the winner wants. And boom, our hero Keiichi wins. He jokingly forces all the girls to be his maid for his upcoming birthday party. This comes as a shock to all the girls, but after all, a deal's a deal. The gang ends up at Mion's house, where they have to cut the cake. Rika decides that she'll get the knife. She's so reliable like a dependable little sister. Oh, careful there, don't trip with the knife. Good thing she caught herself on the wall. Wait, be be careful with the knife now, honey. She's cutting the cake, right? That's the jelly-filled cake, right? Mion, why are you... Why are you laughing so much? What's going on anymore? 